February 20th marked one year of whole brain power for me, so I wanted to acknowledge the occasion by taking a look back at how far I've come since day one. Whole brain power has changed my life in numerous ways, and I wanted to make this video to hopefully inspire some of you to look into the program a little bit and maybe make some changes yourself. So let's get started. to start off by giving a quick testimonial as to how I got started with Whole Brain Power. My brother actually started the program months before I did, and it was through noticing the changes in him that inspired me to get on it myself. He was a man of phases, so I was quite skeptical at first, but after seeing his intense mood elevations and the amount of energy he had and just the way he carried himself around, I thought that there might be something to this whole brain power he was constantly preaching about. So I took the program really seriously. I wanted to see results quickly, so I was practicing a lot, and I tried to implement whole brain power in any way I could. I also studied a lot on the topic, and I wanted to be able to explain to people what I was doing when they saw me bouncing a, a golf ball off of a hammer on the side of the road. I'm going to start off here by giving us a quick little demonstration of how most people, including myself, start off with whole brain power. It's a little frustrating. Don't even get me started with the less dominant hand. I've literally seen this happen. But eventually you get the hang of it, mastering both hands in no time at all. Even doing some tricks here and there. Later, you can move on to smaller surfaces and more weight. This is a 2.5 pound sledgehammer. Many frustrating days trying to reach 500 hits with this one. It's a huge workout on your forearms. It's nothing, however, compared to this 4 pound sledgehammer. This thing has been my life for a while. It, uh, it takes a lot of focus and really does it take on your arms. Sometimes I like to work on precision though. This is a claw hammer, a very small surface. I've gotten pretty good at it. As you can see I'm showing off a little there. I can't stress how important it is to be ambidextrous at all these skills. This is a six pound sledgehammer. Can you say steroidogenesis? That means I'm literally creating my own steroids in my body. I do surprise people with the strength of my forearms. Trust me, this is a lot harder than it looks. My left hand requires even more focus. It's always fun to get creative too. I like doing two hammers and the uh, different weights really get confusing. So here's my take on juggling. It's not mentioned that much in the Whole Brain Power book, but what is mentioned a lot is ambidexterity and the fact that the hands grow the brain. Many juggling tricks are ambidextrous, and if they're not, you can usually learn them ambidextrously anyway. So. Since it's a hand-eye coordination exercise, I am definitely growing my brain and consequently growing my body as well. Here I'm just trying to demonstrate all the tricks I know. I'm sure I forget a few, but here is most of them. Claw catches were especially difficult. Alright, let's try adding one more ball here. 
This is the four ball fountain. Pretty difficult at first, but I've for the most part gotten it down. This one's a little tricky as well. Don't know too many tricks with four balls, but I can indeed juggle them. Now we're talking. These balls are five pounds, and they're made of pure steel. So, I cannot tell you how difficult this is. You'd have to try for yourself. Or just maybe pick up one ball for yourself. This is a huge workout, and it's probably where I develop a lot of strength. I like to recite things I've memorized while I do this as well just to add another mental aspect. Juggling really is a joy to learn. <laughs> now, with whole brain power, I've been able to take my athleticism to a new level. With the help of my loved ones and with a lot of hard work, I've been given a lot of new opportunities recently to display how far I've come. I've developed a physical presence on the field that I never really had before. This comes in handy when you're playing abroad against really good teams. It has also helped my focus on the field. I can almost slow situations down with my mind just accordingly. I still have to always work on my cardio though. Whole brain power really has taken my game to a new level. I firmly believe that. Penmanship is one of the more relaxing exercises of whole brain power, except on day 1 through 10. This is really frustrating. As you can see, it's not very readable, and I couldn't even finish the page on the first day. As we move on, though, we start filling pages, and the writing starts to look a little neater. This is only maybe 10 or 15 days in, so I'm still writing very slow. As we progress, we see the improvement. I've picked up my speed a little bit, that's why I'm able to fill numerous pages. This is quite a while into the program, so I think this is a six page long entry. Getting fancy with the capitals letters now, too. At this point, I'm still resting my hand on the page. So I think I was just about mastering that around here. Here at the very last page, though, I'm not resting my hand anymore and I'm using a thinner pen. I eventually moved on to pages without lines and just started freeforming my practice. Penmanship has all sorts of benefits physically and mentally. So I don't feel like reciting everything I've memorized in the past year for you, so I'm just going to go ahead and list off the things I've memorized here. Yes, I have memorized all these things. If you want me to recite any of them or make a video for them, ask. The next thing I plan on memorizing is phi. That's P-H-I. It's the golden ratio number. I'm not sure if 
if all of you are familiar with that. It starts with 1.618 or something. Probably get the first hundred digits of that down within a couple weeks. Whole Brain Power really has changed my life for the better. I recommend it to anybody who wants to be happy and confident. There are skeptics to the program, but when it comes down to it, you can't argue with results. I plan on making whole brain power a, a lifestyle, not just a program.